In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Last week in the Gospel, we heard the story about when Jesus encountered a blind man begging on the side of the road. He was approaching the city of Jericho. And we learned that because of the faith of that man, Jesus healed him from his blindness. And the life of that man was changed forever. And today, in the Gospel, we heard about a different man that Jesus had an encounter with after he entered into the city of Jericho. His name was Zacchaeus. And although this man Zacchaeus was not in need of any physical healing, like the blind beggar, his life was also changed forever after coming in contact with Jesus Christ because Jesus gave Zacchaeus a different kind of healing. The Gospel says that Zacchaeus was a man of short stature and that he wanted to catch a glimpse of Jesus, but he couldn't see over the crowd that had gathered there in the city on that day. And we learned that Zacchaeus was also a chief tax collector and a man that looked down, that was looked down upon by society and by the people of his community because of his profession. But Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. So the gospel says that he climbed up into a sycamore tree there in the city of Jericho in order that he could get a good look at Jesus as he passed by. And it says that Jesus stopped in front of that tree and that he called out to Zacchaeus by name, saying, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay in your house. So Jesus somehow already knew Zacchaeus, even though they had never met. And it must have had a huge impact on Zacchaeus because the next thing that we learn is that Zacchaeus not only obeyed Jesus and came down from that tree, but that he immediately became aware of his sinful way of life and repented right there and then, even telling Jesus that he would pay restitution to anyone that he had ever cheated four times what he had taken from them and that he would give half of his possessions to the poor. And we know from history that after meeting Jesus, Zacchaeus went on to become a devout follower of Jesus, traveling with St. Peter on his missionary journeys, and later even becoming a bishop in the city of Caesarea in Palestine. So after meeting Jesus, and opening up his home to him, Zacchaeus' life was changed forever. And Jesus gave his life new direction. His body may not have been in need of physical healing, like the blind man, but his soul and his heart sure did. And Jesus stopped in front of Zacchaeus on that day and gave him exactly what he needed. And that inner healing was confirmed when Jesus told Zacchaeus that today salvation has come into this house. Or in other words, Zacchaeus, today salvation has come to you. Two different encounters at Jericho. Two different men, a blind beggar and a tax collector and two different kinds of healings. But most importantly, two lives that were forever changed because they had a direct encounter with Jesus Christ. And in a couple days, on Wednesday, February 2nd, the church will commemorate another event that changed the lives of two other individuals, a priest named Simeon, 
and an older woman named the prophetess Anna, who also had an encounter with Jesus. The event is known as the presentation of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ in the temple, or also known as the meeting of the Lord in the temple. It's a celebration of the day that Joseph and Mary, the parents of Jesus, brought him as a baby to the temple in Jerusalem, 40 days after his birth, to offer thanks for their baby and to receive a blessing from the priest, as was customary according to God's law. And it's a tradition that's continued today in the Holy Orthodox Church throughout the world. And the icon of this event is right up here on our iconostas, in, right next to the icon of the Dormition, which is the feast day of our Blessed Basilica. And in the Gospel lesson for the feast, it says that Simeon was waiting for that day for a very long time, and that the Holy Spirit had visited Simeon, telling him that he would not die until he saw the words of Scripture in the book of Isaiah fulfilled that says, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and you shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God is with us. So Simeon was waiting patiently to meet his Lord. And it was soon after the event of the presentation that Simeon did, in fact, leave this world. And the Gospel says that the prophetess Anna was also there, and that she he had been living in the temple as a widow for a very long time. She was in her 80s. And when she saw the baby, when she saw the baby Jesus, the gospel says that she immediately gave thanks to her God and praised him. And it says that she went on to tell everybody that she could that God had indeed visited the temple on that day. So today in the church, we celebrate and remember the lives, two lives that were healed and two lives that were fulfilled. Jesus healed the blind man in Zechariah, and Jesus fulfilled the lives of Simeon the priest and the prophetess Anna. And after each of them had a personal encounter with Jesus Christ, their lives were changed forever. And by remembering these four individuals and the feast of the presentation, we're reminded about what happens mystically to each and every single one of us on Sunday when we come to church. Because it's here at church during the Divine Liturgy when we too each have a personal encounter with our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ through the reception of Holy Communion. An encounter that for those who draw near with the fear of God, with faith and with love, can and does have the ability to not only heal both our soul and our body, like it did for the blind man and for Zacchaeus, but it can fulfill our lives with faith and with joy and with love and with thanksgiving, like it did for the priest Simeon and for the prophetess Anna. And our lives, too, will continue to be changed forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen.